that's uh, coming out of my field. Welcome back. Well, so since finishing uh, planting cotton, that would have been on a Saturday afternoon. Sunday was hot and humid. And then we got a little bit of rain Sunday, late, like late, what would it have been? Middle of the night, like after after midnight. So I was a little bit nervous. I knew there were some rain chances. I mean, they were small, like 40, 30%, not, not really big, um, and not really big amount. So I was hopeful that that would be the case. Maybe nothing or small. Well, at my dad's house, I think he said he had 1.3 to one place had like 0.8 or 9 to 1.3 again. That was the stuff that I had planted earlier. The very first place had like a tenth, so that's no big deal. I think a lot of this over where they got that bigger rain was going to be. I think it's going to be. I think it was going to be okay. Well, that the stuff I planted last got like three or four tenths on it. I think that was okay. Well, then it rained again last night. Our 30, 40 to 50 percent chance of showers turned into an inch, inch and a half, in addition to yesterday's. So I don't know what that's going to do. Um, I'm driving to look around now. I know Dad had an inch and a half. So at his house, he's had 2.8 over two days. That cotton was up yesterday, even after the 1.3. It looked really good still. Um, his, his is on a hill. It, it flows. Could have washed some dirt out, but I think the cotton was okay. We'll see in a second what it looks like after another inch and a half and what the rest of our stuff looks like so where the heavier rains had been it was almost out of the ground or out of the ground so i'm hoping that's okay where the terraces hold water stuff was un underwater yesterday is likely more underwater today and then now what was planted on saturday today would be tuesday not that many days ago now has had a probably a big rain on it and so maybe looking at it, some replanting i don't know we'll we won't know until we know is the way to think about it. So I'll show you what I can see and then I'll let you know what we decide. Okay, first field is here at my parents' house. And uh, again, it, it likely just, it ran. So I'll have more, you know, more extreme gullies to navigate that I did, but the cotton looks good. I don't know if you can see it from this vantage point. It's kind of a wide zoom. I'll I can't zoom in much with this camera, but uh, the cotton's still there. I think it's a good stand, so this field should be okay. This is the other end of that field where the waterway is, and there's, there's water down there. I'm sure it washed out a bunch of that, but I don't know. I don't know if it'll be worth going in there and trying to drop in and plant spots that got washed away because it's going to be real silty I'm sure again but this was an inch and a half after an inch 1.3 so overall pleased with that now what's going to happen to that's all on wheat stubble um, you know that but that we got hailed out and so that we didn't get as fully matured and not as much straw and so it, we tried to cut it into for, for hay and then we got rained on forever and so that straw has really deteriorated which I don't know if you could say it's a good thing or a bad thing it's good and that it's breaking down and I'm getting those nutrients back into plant available stuff but also I'm hoping there's enough organic material in that soil to hold it from blowing after a rain like this we just again won't know until the winds pick up um, and so watching for that in case we get some sand sand blowing because um, the winds will blow but last year the wind was blowing because we didn't have we did not have a wheat crop the year before and so there was no wheat stubble at all and this year for some reason I've got some farms that have really good stubble and some farms that have it's like it's gone away so I don't know so much rain I guess has washed some of it out and some of it just deteriorated it I don't know but hope there's some stuff in there holding that soul down well oh 
squishy. I won't be able to. Hmm. Guess I'll walk. Won't be able to walk through here. I guess I'm gonna have to go around. Won't be also be able to see. Oh, still wet. Won't be able to see the cotton because it's down that way, and there's a county road that uh, will be a river today. Let's see. Dry? Maybe. I, I wore my uh, my leisure leisure clothes. Come on, man. Oh. Things I do, that's not for you. I was gonna do it anyways. But I can't get down there to see that cotton. I, I, it was planted the day after what I just showed you. Some the day of, some the next day. So I think it's gonna be okay. That soil, holy moly. 1.6 plus the eight or nine tenths from yesterday. That adds up. I think it's going to be okay because this land drains pretty good, which is not always a great thing because then it creates ruts, but uh, I think that cotton's going to be okay. I just got to get back across over here. All right, so 1.6 there. I got to remember that so I can tell my dad. We, kinda, we have a running kind of text back and forth to kind of keep track of what has happened. There's the first option to get down to the cotton. And uh, there's my other option to get to see the cotton. So one river or the other. I think I'll just pass. All right, coming up here to this farm called Graceland. Um, I think I'm seeing I thought I was seeing some cotton poke up. I'm trying to look. It's mostly underwater. So I don't know what's going to happen here. Um, it, obviously you can see it. It's it's not throughout the whole field, but it's definitely across this terrace bottoms. And they were underwater yesterday afternoon. And now they've got more water. And they're kind of that those terraces are kind of trapped. So I don't know if that's going to that cotton's going to make it or not. So I may have to. This should start. This should start be starting to come out of the ground. And I, but again, I don't know how much the cooler weather and the rain if it slowed down the germ on, on some of this because this got rained on. Let's see. What did I decide? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So this was planted Thursday and Friday, and it rained on. Sunday and Monday right but almost Monday and Tuesday so it was about to cut start coming out of the ground before the first rain so I'm sure there's I know there's gonna be some up I just can't really look at it good because I, this the only way is a turn row and a county road but it's so it's better here at the this middle points kind of high but again there's terrace small water which is what they're supposed to do but we'll just have to see how the cotton kind of how fast this dries up Will it crust over before the cotton comes up and, and kind of drowns out the seed? And is it worth going in there and patching in some? I don't know. All right, let's see what we got here. Holy moly, two inches. That's a lot. Was not hoping for two inches. That's what we got. Let's see, this is a row that was planted I don't see anything coming. Okay, up there, you see some of that? There's some cotton poking up through there. But not much. And I'd love to drive down there, but I don't want to get stuck there either. I don't, don't, don't like being the first one going down the county road. Two inches. That's a lot. Well, I'd ran to town to get some things at Walmart, and uh, so I'm, you don't know how long I've been gone, but here I'm coming around Sagerton. You can, I mean, it's kind of hard to see. There's a little bit of cotton that's poking up here. Um, the water's not standing, I don't know, 
too bad. There's obviously some spots. So, I don't know. That's That one's not going to be about probably water standing issues. More than it's going to be just did it... Uh, did it get rained on too soon? I don't. I don't know. That's that's what we'll find out. All right, I'm gonna check this rain gauge. That's a lot. Another two inches. So yeah, the one that I had two inches over there. That one had 1.3 plus two inches. So that had 3.3. This one just had two inches plus 0.35. So a whole inch whole inch less than the other farm Graceland two inches they also were planted about this well yeah half of that other one the same as all of this one so I don't know all right last gauge to check here at my grandma's if there's any indication oh a little light here one point uh, 1.7. Shit, wait. Can't see that very good. 1.6. Yeah, that was light. Real, real low rain here. Now, here's what I'm concerned with. This was the last I planted. Let me get you a good vantage point here so you can see the concerns. that that's what I'm worried about just the lakes so I would say there's a really strong chance that I'm gonna have to patch in a significant significant the terrace is here but I'm just gonna probably just have to drive a lot of it I don't know I have to ask dad he's he's done it because it's not like it's square sections the sections are like at an angle um, and then there's I mean, you can see it like some at this angle and then they curve back going this way so I don't know between one and a half and two inches on stuff that's not up I don't know what's gonna happen to the rest of the stuff that's not underwater but the stuff that is underwater this field just holds it and it, it's just gonna be a while before it would dry out even if the cotton was up already it's the water would likely kill it and so I'm assuming that since it's underwater and it's sprouting or trying to push through now that it won't either it won't because it will ruin the seed or it just won't be able to because it's flooded so all right that's everything to show you I'm gonna go home and um, I've got some craft supplies for the boys can't do anything about this now anyways, but now we know.